Well, hello. Let's go inside. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Museum of the Mythic Dawn? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Sounds good. Let's talk inside. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. Yeah. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. Is that it? scabbard. Notice the insignia. An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. Hmm. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died. That they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Merun's Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye, made from sacrificial blood. Wow. Anything else? Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? So what is this mythic dawn cult? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The mythic dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult I've gathered in my museum. Who is Merun's Dagon? Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. Hmm. A courier gave me this pamphlet. And here you are. I hope you found the museum to your liking. Why did you open this museum? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. Okay, let's talk about this job you want done. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's razor, the artifact of Dagon. 
They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost a hundred and fifty years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. So you want me to get those fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. I want to know more about this razor. The razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Okay, then. Good luck finding the fragments. Yeah. See ya. Morthal. All right. Let's see in Morthal. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. See in Morthal. All right. Well, the Lord just arrived in Morthal. Hey, what's going on? What, what is, is it? it? Dragons? No. Is there a story behind that burned down house over there? It's bad luck to talk about that place. Y'all's been looking for someone who ain't superstitious, though. Be looking for a fool, if you ask me. Mother's gift, not quite, but I've seen things. Hmm. I get lost sometimes. I'm not sure where I go, but I'm not. I'm not here. <laughs> okay. Go fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta go talk to this guy about giving up the... Peace. Um, I trust you're not planning any trouble. No. Oh. What can I do for you, friend? Let me just put on some magical stuff. Hey, don't sleep, buddy. Hey. I just want to be left alone to do my job. And to enjoy what little free time I have when I have it. Yeah. You seem upset about something. The world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides in sight with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. You don't trust the Jarl? How can I? She never speaks with us. She's allowed this wizard, Falgen, to live in our midst practicing gods know what. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons? What help could Idgrad be against them? No. We can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. What isn't the Jarl dealing with? Trust you saw the house that burned down. Yeah. Peculiar bit of business that was. And that's on top of noises from the marsh in the night. 
tales of monsters. Now this wizard in our mist. What's a man to do if he can't look to his yard for help? Well, anyways, I'm looking for pieces of my rune's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. Really? Silas Vervistius says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic dawn. Guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. You need to as far leave. as I care, it can stay locked in my house. You won't miss it you then. I don't care, but my ancestors do. You can't have it. You need to leave. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for the help. The vines know the mill could use some new blades. All right, it's yours. Here's the keys. It's locked in the chest inside my house. Okay. Thank you. you need All right. Then. What are you saying? If you need any alchemy supplies, I'll do my best to provide them. Assuming I haven't used them all up. How long have you studied alchemy? I picked up the trade when I was a girl. One of the temple healers staying here on a pilgrimage showed me the basics. She had a book with her, Song of the Alchemists, that I used to read over and over. I miss having a copy. If I find a copy, I'll bring it to you. Really? I'd be happy to show you a bit about herbs if you find the book. Okay. Do you have a hard time getting supplies way out here? No, no. Well, sometimes, but that's not the problem. I just often don't have much to do, so I tend to... try things out. They don't usually work, but I try. Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. I like training and alchemy. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Thank you. Aye. See ya. Jorgen and I both work hard, all the time. Murthal is important to both of us. Take care. Next piece is a dead crone rock. Well, aren't you the handsome one? You and I should spend some time together. <laughs> the people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. It won't last forever, though. They say Hiragar burned down his house for you. Do they? How delightful. I'm lucky to have a man that is so devoted to me. Ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Yeah, I want a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. What can't you get me? Sweet? I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me. 
running an inn weren't my plan, but Follian decided to move here, so I joined him. I'm gonna get some rest here. Let's see when I get up. Hello. Against yourself, sneak thief. Well, it looks like I gotta go way out here. I'll see you in Arkansas. See ya. <laughs>